this one, what I'm learning, cutthroat in this industry, there are some snakes in this grass when you get local. Now, I talked about it in one of my vlogs, but I'm going to make a whole video on it. Because, like I said, I can tell the story a little bit again. A guy saw me at a dock. There's been a couple people that know I'm a YouTuber that have reached out via Instagram, via whatever, in my local I state, right? I, was, I did, You know, I was surprised. Was There's, like, five people that knew I'm a YouTuber, right? So I'm like, this guy sees me at the dock. I know I told the story, but I wanted to make a video about it because it shows how evil people are. He's like, oh, yeah, you're a YouTuber. I haven't met you. You know this and that. People said you're bald with tattoos. Because I was like, how do you know who I am? And he's like, I don't watch it, but I heard you're bald with tattoos. I'm like, okay. So I don't think much of it. He's telling me all these weird things. He's getting weird about, like, how I do YouTube. And then when I said, he's like, do you even make money? Like, why do you do it? I'm like, no, I, yeah, I make money. And I told him the amount. It's not crazy. I'll tell you guys, it's about 600 Whatever. Like, I would love it to be more. Because, like, I do all this for free, obviously. And I'm going to continue to do that. That's because I care about my principle in life is to help other people. I don't care about anything else. Like, in my recovery, that's what I have devoted my life was to helping people. And then this sort of transpired into that. Um, I do wish my channel was a little bit more about inspirational hope and um, changing your life and stuff. But uh, but not that it's not. Like, I'm a, I'm a felon. I'm a, you know, I'm a... Like, so it is supposed to be inspirational in that light. But sometimes uh, I just wish it was a little bit more of that. Not so much just, hey, give me the links. Give me the links. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, sure. Here's the links on how to, you know, and I do like doing that. And I like helping people. I like when people actually will conversate and we like, you know, get to know each other. And it's like, oh, how you doing, man? And then I talk well, to people on, through Instagram. Yeah, I talk to people through Facebook. I, you know, and I have to balance that with my life, with my family. And I do. We have fun, right? Well, well we have fun. Yeah. We were like, today we're going to a splash pad. We're going fishing. You know, we do our thing. We like to snake hunt. We like to snake hunt, yes. Um, and salamander hunt. Um, so here's what I'm saying. So then he reaches out to um, where I get loads, and then they hit me up and talk to me about it. And uh, it was just crazy because I had already told them too. I was very transparent. I said, I'm a YouTuber, yeah, and I get, you know, if there's people in the state, I can refer them, you know, stuff like that. They're like, oh, don't say our name. Don't. And I was like, I wasn't going to unless you were going to pay me because I've had that issue where I would save people's names and then they would reach out to me and when I was over the road and they'd be like, oh, thank you so much. We're getting so much business. And I didn't even know that was a YouTube thing where you're supposed to, which I'm cool with helping other companies. Like, I'm not even going to say their name. There's another business that I've helped exponentially. Um, and when I reached out to them, Ghost. And then other ones that I've helped, they just, because it helps people to start their business. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only one that's been fully honoring it is... Uh, what are they called? Uh, it's just been so hectic lately. Hippix Logistics, I went through them seven, eight months, and they're freaking solid. They are dope as hell. And, uh, like, I wouldn't have stopped being with them, too, if the over-the-road didn't get weird with the economy. Like, we were making, pulling in $1,200 in three days, but the economy got weird. And you have to stay out right now to, to be over the road for it to be successful. But back to the topic at hand. Um... There's snakes in the grass, bro. Like, and I couldn't believe it. And this guy was, like, looking me in my eyes. And I was like, yeah, we're using that money to save up for another big vehicle. Because we have a van, and we wanna, we've want we had that van six, seven years. So we want, you know, we're all about financial security. So we're saving up for our next vehicle with that money. And then he goes and tries to make it weird. And it was weird, dude. And uh, I just couldn't believe it. But I wanted to talk to people about there's snakes in the grass. That It's a cutthroat industry. And, uh... My boy, Everything Apex, Alan, who I still talk, I haven't talked to him for a little bit, but we talk here and there. And he talks about that a lot in his videos, that it's a cutthroat industry, and I do see that. And I'm, that's why, like, too, a lot of people will get mad at me on YouTube and go, Oh, you, you, know, you, you make competition, this is so stupid that you're helping people get started, it's already a saturated industry. Well, you know what? It's not saturated because a lot of people don't succeed, but I talk to a bunch that have but that I've helped but what I'm saying is it's all about your hustle and it's all about your mental fortitude if you want to keep it going and I actually have another video that I'm doing here soon uh coming out that's going to be about though like having backup plans and being smart and being intentional and not just like like that's why I talk about being open-minded and not being one-track minded and uh like 
there's a lot of things that can happen in this industry. It's fucking crazy. Me and my wife talk about it. We're like, man, this has been a crazy roller coaster this year. And it is crazy, but you don't want to, like, you can always keep your LLC and just see what happens and then go back to a job. But I'm going to do a video on that. But just to talk about it's cutthroat in this industry, you never know what could happen. But like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. One last thing, what I told, get merch, my son said. One thing, too, I told the guy, he said, all I do is try to help people. Because he was getting so weird about it. And I was like, all I do is help people like and subscribe. All I do is try to help people. I, that's, I said that because he's like, well, what is the point of it? And I was like, I just try to help people, bro. Like, start the businesses all across the country. That's all I do. And it was so weird. He was so, like, not into it. Like, But he was trying to act nice. That's what was weird. And then... Whoever's but anyways, keep hustling. keep hustling. Like my son said, keep hustling. Everyone have a blessed day. And oh yeah, keep hustling. Keep hustling. <laughs> keep hustling. I work hard. I get paid blue collar all day. I don't get tired. Like Kevin Gates, sun up to sun down. I will always be this way. Redneck thuggin'. I was country made. Blue collars in my veins. Blue collar to my grave.